Hi, everybody. Welcome to you all. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is alongside me, and this is the Stadio Olimpico in Rome. Our game today sees Italy against Sweden. It's an international fixture here, Alan. That'll bring back memories for you and your England career. Well, it is a proud moment. You stand there, you sing along to the national anthem, and uh, you just want to do yourself justice representing your country. An Olympic stadium here in Rome, rightly called an Olympic stadium. It had an Olympics here in 1960. Of course, it's not changed too much since then. No, it's one of those stadiums quite hard to get into. They put a ring of steel around it, but uh, they've had some great games. Remember visiting here for Italia 90 as a supporter. This is the lineup for the home side. Gigi Buffon plays in goal. Giorgio Chiellini plays with Leonardo Bonucci in central defence. So a couple of strikers for them at the front end of the team. And here's the Sweden team today. Two banks of four. 4-4-2. Four, four, yeah, how it always used to be. Don't see it quite so often these days, but uh, that's a classic formation and uh, really capable of causing problems here today. A lot of build-up. Finally, we're underway for the game itself. Here is Johansson. He made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception. Ekdal. It's a good event. And that could have been an early booking for the offender. I wouldn't have been surprised, but the referee's taken a slightly lenient view, I think. Not really away, poor clearance. Giro Immobile. Johansson. Good forward play from them. Gonna try his luck. Well, they've broken through here with a really good goal. And the celebrations reflect that. The supporters are going crazy. It's a terrific moment for the team. Knocked it away from very close range. All about concentration, that getting the right strike on it. Different angle on it here. That has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Antonio Candreva. Giro Immobile. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Ekdal. Johansson. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. 
Marco Parolo. Damia. Well, that's not so much an interception as a poor pass. Andreas Grandquist. Ekdal. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Johansson. Shot blocked here. Marco Tarolo. He's cut that out well, well read. Gets his foot in there. He's in here. And it's out now for a goal kick. Marco Parolo. Damian. Andreva. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Ekdal. Ola Toivonen. They could pose some danger now. Beg. Oh, it's close, Alan. Offside is given. He's quick enough. He doesn't need to do that. Yeah, he's having a little go at his teammate. He did want that pass earlier. Damia. Leonardo Benucci. Beg. Picked off that pass, and now he's got the ball and a chance. And that will be a free kick to Italy. No doubt about it, free kick to Italy. but not really tested by that free kick. Italy will want to put this first half in the bin when the half-time whistle goes because it's not been what we... A couple of options for him from the free kick, whether to go for goal or put it to where his teammates are lining up. That's a poor challenge, isn't it? And the card's coming out. Yeah, sometimes you wonder, is it a booking or not? I think we all thought, yes, he's going to get the yellow card, as he does. Here's the shot from the free kick. Well, for a free kick, that's um, at best a sighter, really, isn't it? Yeah, I think he shanked it, you know. That was a horrible connection. Here is Johansson. Hey there. On to the attack now anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. He's been forced just to knock the ball forward by the press. Trying to steer it through. 
Eked out. On the attack here. Whipped in from the wide area. That's a high-class header and a world-class save. Well, you could argue it was a... And Italy get the free kick. Damia. So it's 1 0 here as the half time whistle goes. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Good forward play from them. He's going to tie his luck. So we're all set for the second half. Insignia. A timely challenge. Ekdal. Beg. That's going to be a free kick. Time-wasting, Alan, do you think, from the away team here? They've got a win, perhaps, uh, in their sights now if they do well, but there are other ways of seeing it through from here. Yeah, well, you can understand it to a certain extent. They've worked hard to get themselves into this position and they don't seem to have too many ambitions of getting another goal now. You do need perfect connection from that distance and he didn't get it. Yeah, I thought he was optimistic going for goal there, I was right. Damia. Great interception. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Got the tackle in. Tight scenario here on the ball. Wasteful pass. Unforced error, really. Johansson. Picked out his man. Can't lose it here. Hey there. This turnover could be costly against a side that can break like this. Probing pass. In on the goalkeeper. Kandreva. Oh, they've nicked an equaliser here. A rare attack. Oh, and the opposing manager is absolutely livid about it. Well, they were caught out here by this quick counter-attack against the run of play. Yeah, I mean, they had to uh, stick together there and come under a lot of pressure, but with the pace in the team, that was always likely. Here we go at one all. Grandquist. Insignia. Now this looks promising. Spotted well by the defender, cut it out. Johansson.
Well, he's cleared the danger. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. And he could get away here. A little too eager to get in behind the opposition, caught offside. Well, they do need an injection of uh, fresh enthusiasm from the bench. Well, they're in a good position here. Proper tackle, that. Well, uh, Toivonen. Of all the decisions that are difficult to get right on a regular basis, offside, probably right up there, isn't it, Alan? Right here? Yeah, when the defence is pushing up and the player's rushing through, it's such a difficult decision, but it's a good one in this case. Damian. It's Italy with the advantage here, thanks to the referee. Grandquist. Berg. Ola Toivonen. There's some potential in this move with good vision. Gone in a bit. Space to try and hit it now. That's a wonderful save at full stretch. We are going to see a substitution now. Corner swung in. Climbing up! Tried to keep it down, but couldn't quite manage it. I oh, thought he was going to score there. I thought he should have scored. from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Hey there. Andreva. A timely challenge. Marco Parolo. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Johansson really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Bang! Got in the way. Just seen the board there, Alan. Four minutes of added time. Yeah, and there's a sense of anticipation within this ground. They think they've got a, a decent enough chance now to do the necessary... Keep possession with that header. Well, the 90 minutes up now, and the scores are level. Good forward play from them. Gonna try his luck. Turnover could be cost probing pass. In on the goalkeeper. Kandreva. With good vision. Gone in a bit. Space to try and hit it now. 